Hello dear students, welcome back to our online class. I hope you are as ready as I am to start learning and have fun. This is the continuation of the previous lesson about data flow diagram. In this video, we are going to discuss about DFD level 0, the rules of DFD, and lastly, the steps in making a data flow diagram. The level 0 data flow diagram is also known as context diagram. It is designed a single process with its relationship to external entity. It means it has only one process node and it may have multiple external entities. It represents the entire system as single process node with input and output data indicated by incoming and outgoing arrows. It should be easily understood by a wide audience, including stakeholders, business analysts, data analysts, and developers. Let me show you an example. We have here one process node named hiring system and two external entities, the applicant and the engineering manager. These arrows here represent the input from its external entities to the process node, while these arrows here represent the output from the process node to its external entities. But this is just a basic or a simple level 0 data flow diagram. Now, what if process 0 gets exploded or decomposed and becomes a series of processes. Once process 0 in the context DFD is exploded, it contains several processes that start with number 1. The data store, which commonly known as the database, is also included in this level because no system does not have any storage for the data, whether in physical or digital format. There are instances that a particular process or function is identified as the most relevant among others, and it has to be scrutinized further. The difference between level 0 and the explosion, aside from its details, is the label for each process. Meaning, mas magiging detalyado na ang isang level 0 data flow diagram if it gets exploded. Gamitin natin ulit yung example natin dun sa basic level 0 data flow diagram, which is the hiring system. But this time, we are going to use the um, level 0 data flow diagram that is exploded. The explosion shows us more details about the processes of a hiring system compared to the simple level 0 data flow diagram. Let us now proceed to the next topic, the rules of data flow diagram. Rule number 1. An entity cannot provide data to another entity without some processing of Katulad na lamang ng pag-a-apply natin ng trabaho. Wala naman talaga sigurong kumpanya na sasabihan ka agad yung isang applicant na Okay, you are hired. Pwede ka nang magsimula ka agad. Pwede ka nang magtrabaho ka agad. Di ba? Wala naman talaga. Number two. Data cannot move directly from an entity to a data store without being processed. Number three. Data cannot move directly from a data store without being processed. Number four, data cannot move directly from one data store to another without being processed. There are other frequently made mistakes in DFD. 
A second class of DFD mistakes arise when the outputs from one processing step do not match its inputs and they can be classified as Black holes A processing step may have input flows but no output flows Miracles A processing step may have output flows but no input flows And the third one is Gray holes a processing step may have outputs that are greater than the sum of its inputs. Let's proceed to the last topic, the steps in making a data flow diagram. Number one, organize the data, such as the people involved in the current system. A current system is commonly known as the manual system that needs to be fixed or innovate. However, if you are currently going towards the development of the system design, verify the functions and the external agents that should be included in the proposed system. A proposed system is the actual project being developed. Step number two. Start designing the level zero DFD before the context DFD. Step number three. Identify how many processes in the current or proposed system. Step number four. Create first the DFD fragments before connecting every process. And for the last step, after creating the fragments, identify the objects that have potential connected. Always consider the rules in the FD. That ends my lesson. I hope you gained knowledge by viewing this video. This is Annaling V. Casipe, a fourth-year IT student who leaves this quotation. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Thanks for watching! Stay safe! Bye!